ambulances go for auto sequence start. 25. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. 15. 12. 10. ELS go for main engine start. 6. 5, 4. 3. 2. 1. And booster ignition lift off of Space Shuttle Discovery, taking the space station to full power for full science. This is Mission Control Houston. Discovery roll program. Roger roll, Discovery. Discovery's roll maneuver is complete. It is now in a heads down position on track for its flight to the International Space Station. Flying 365 miles per hour, one and, a half, one and a half miles in altitude, seven miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Discovery's engines are throttling down as the orbiter passes through the area of maximum pressure on the vehicle. Discovery, go at throttle up. Discovery, go at throttle up. Three main engines on board are throttling back up. Now one minute, 12 seconds into the flight, Discovery flying at 1,800 miles per hour, 10 miles in altitude, and 11 and a half miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. At liftoff, the fully fueled shuttle boosters and external tank weighed four and a half million pounds. The total thrust at launch was six million four hundred and twenty five thousand pounds. All systems continue to function well. Three good main engines, three good power generating fuel cells, and three good auxiliary power units for the hydraulic system. We will now stand by for burnout and separation of the solid rocket boosters. Combined, the twin boosters provide 5.3 million pounds of thrust to propel the orbiter towards space. Discovery now flying 3,600 miles per hour, 32 miles in altitude, 43 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Discovery flying at 9,000 miles per hour. Discovery's engines have been commanded to swivel to put the orbiter in the proper heads-up position. Engine Zaragoza 104. Single engine Zaragoza 104. Discovery can reach Zaragoza on one engine should two fail at this point. Main engine cutoff is confirmed. Discovery, Houston, nominal MECO, OMS-1 not required. Copy that, OMS-1 not required. And external tank separation is confirmed. Now, 8 minutes, 57 seconds into the flight, Discovery in orbit flying at 17,500 miles per hour. On board Discovery, Commander Lee Archambault. The uh, imaginary heading alignment cone or cylinder as he begins a 260 degree uh, turn. Twin sonic booms uh, announcing Discovery's arrival in the landing site. Tony Antonelli, the pilot of the vehicle, now taking his turn for a few seconds, uh, flying Discovery around the heading alignment circle. Discovery, on at the 180. Discovery copies, on at the 180.
Squadron Pilot Tony Antonelli now handing the stick back to Commander Lee Archambault, who now has uh, control of Discovery for the remainder of the flight. Discovery, on at the 90. On uh, at the 90. 19,000 feet in altitude, uh, range 11 miles from the uh, runway. Discovery's uh, velocity is down to 400 miles per hour. Discovery is on and on. Copy on and on. Runway's in sight. Discovery copy, runway in sight. About one minute to touchdown, altitude uh, 5,800 feet. Commander Lee Archambault beginning to uh, flare the nose of Discovery up for final approach and landing. And landing gear is down. Main gear touchdown. And nose gear touchdown. Space Shuttle Discovery is rolling out on runway 15 at the Kennedy Space Center, completing 201 orbits, 202 orbits of the Earth, while traveling 5,304,000 miles. This landing marks the 70th shuttle mission to end at KSC. Discovery spent eight days docked to the International Space Station, leaving behind the first Japanese long-duration crew member and also leaving it more power capability, setting the stage for an increase to six-person crew in late May. Sandy Magnus, mission specialist, now aboard Discovery home after 134 days in space, 129 of those aboard the International Space Station. Discovery is completing the 36th voyage of its uh, life and the 125th 125th Space Shuttle mission in the history of the program. Houston Discovery will stop. Houston copies will stop. Welcome home, Discovery, after a great mission to bring the International Space Station to full power.